we use this fetcher function to fetch the data from the backend server using the API endpoint. Let's talk a little bit about this fetcher function and see how we can customize it. We can customize this fetcher function to return more information. If the status code is not 200, we can consider it as error, even if it can be passed as JSON. Now, let's see how we can customize this fetcher function. What we can do is, I'm going to get rid of this statement and here I'm going to simply return a sync function with URL parameter, something like this. And we can pass this URL parameter to the fetch function of JavaScript. I can simply see here constant response is equal to await fetch. Fetch is the JavaScript function. And then we pass the URL here. And that URL is going to pass to this fetch function to fetch the data. Now, let's suppose that the status code is not in the range of 200 or 300. We still try to pass and throw an error. For example, here I can say if response dot okay if the status code is not okay so i'm going to pass here exclamation mark so if the status code is not okay then execute this if block and here i'm going to say constant error is equal to new error and here i'm going to pass an error occurred while fetching the data and then right down here i can attach the extra information to this error object. I can simply say here error dot info is equal to await and then I'm going to say response dot json and then I'm going to say here error dot status is equal to response dot status or you can specify your own status code here just out of that you can just simply throw this error object. So you can see we simply create our own error and throw them if the status code is not okay and if it is okay we then simply going to return a response dot json something like this in this object you can see i'm just going to create an error object the new instance of this error and then we pass some information to it and then i'm going to return this information to this feature function if there is an error or you can say if the status code is not okay now once you know that how you can customize the feature function SWR uses the exponential backup algorithm to retry the request on error. The algorithm allows the app to recover from errors quickly, but not waste resources retrying too often. In my SWR, here you can see when I scroll down, I use here use SWR and we pass the second argument which is feature. Just out of this feature, I can pass different options to this use SWR hook. I can simply pass here a comma and then pass here an object. Inside this object, I can pass a different options. So I can say here on error, you can see we have different options here. So let's use this on error retry. And then I'm going to specify here colon. And this is a type of function. So we need to pass here arrow function like this. And inside this function, you are going to get different properties. So inside this, we are going to get error. Then we can get key, then we can get config, revalidate, and in the object, you get retry count. Now, let me explain how we can use these properties inside this on error function. Inside this, I can simply say if error dot status code, if it is equal to 404, then just return. This means if the status code is equal to 404, then I don't want to retry this API request. I just wanted to return only one request when the status code is equal to 404. Then I can say if the key, this parameter, the key, if it is equal to API user, then I'm going to exit from this function. So I'm just going to say never retry for this specific key. Now we are just telling use SWR that if the API endpoint is this, then don't retry on error. Just exit from this function. Just for that, we can also say here if retry count if it is greater than or equal to 10, then we are going to return or you can say exit from this function. So we are just saying that on error, try to refresh the data only 10 times. Only retry up to 10 times not more than that. 
only if there is an error in the API response. And then we can also use this revalidate to send the request again and again. For example, let's suppose that we want to retry after 5 seconds. Then we can simply say here, set timeout, call here a callback function. And here we can say revalidate. Revalidate is a type of function. So we pass here revalidate. And then we pass here an object. Inside this, we pass this recount. And then as a second argument, we pass here 5000. So this statement is going to retry after every 5 seconds. So if there is an error, this statement is going to retry and send a request to the backend after every 5 seconds. Now let's take a look at how we can use SWR configuration. 